In June 2002, Manny Pacquiao met with the undefeated Mexican champion, Emmanuel Lucero. At the beginning of the third round, Pacquiao hit a strong left hook to the head. Lucero staggered and turning his back to Pacquiao reached the ropes. The referee intervened and stopped the fight. At the same time, Lucero fell to his knees. He got up, but did not argue with the referee's decision. Immediate knockout on a punch that didn't even send Lucero to the canvas, but you saw the leaving response. Well, Lucero had a great style if uh, people were throwing coins into the ring and he was trying to pick them up. Castiamato, of course. Uh... That left hand almost drove Richardson right through the canvas. There you see Eddie Richardson. Wow, he just turned his head around on his neck. A left hook, a la Frazier, and down goes Richardson. A rematch took place between Eric Morales and Manny Pacquiao. At the end of the 10th round, Pacquiao made a left cross to the head, and Morales fell to the canvas. He barely managed to get up before the count of nine. When he rose, Pacquiao immediately threw a series of blows to the head, after which Morales fell for the second time. This time the referee did not count and immediately stopped the fight. Morales did not argue. Now Kennedy is a boxer but gets knocked down with the first left hook he takes. Tyson, you, boy, you have to like his, how poised he is right here. He is picking his shots well. He is this one Kennedy. could be over. He's, it is. Joe Cortez stops it. And the first good left hook that Tyson landed, he dips under, throws this left hook. That's a nice move. Is that a Joe Frazier left it hook? It really is. And you know what's so nice about that? Now here is where he had Kennedy against the ropes. Mike Tyson is a terrific finisher. Mm. Keeps his hands moving. Those are good compact punches. Now, and uh, Joe Cortez steps in. In April 2007, Jorge Solis entered the ring against Manny. Obedezca means commando, si pro the hairstyles, si mismo siempre. Touch him up now, good luck to both of you. Token low, one of Corte Ambos. You know, and I think they've run out of ideas. At the beginning of the eighth round, Pacquiao struck his opponent on the jaw, and with his left uppercut, the Mexican fell. He stood at the last moment. Pacquiao immediately carried out a spate of strikes and sent him back to the canvas with a left cross. The Mexican could not rise before the count of 10, and the referee stopped the match. Manny Pacquiao, after a slightly slow start, got things in gear, survived the bad. On July 23rd, 2001, Manny Pacquiao entered the ring against Lilo Hanolo, Led Waba. In this weight category, Manny Pacquiao again won the WBC title and went on to defend it five times before he had the chance to compete for the IBF title. This fight was Manny's debut in the USA, where he won by TKO and gained his second prestigious title, the IBF title. The fight was held at the MGM Grand, Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. He's been caught by surprise. He's a good fighter. He had no idea. Five, six. Almost a resignation in the eyes of Led Waba. Yeah, and Joe Cortez has seen enough. That's a TKO victory for the very impressive Manny Pacquiao, who takes a good fighter and just takes him apart with power shots. Ten wins, seven inside round one. Did I say seven? Make that eight. On they go. Is he going to make the belt? Somehow, you know, I just kind of doubt it. There's only so much punishment anybody can take. That is the limit of Sterling Benjamin's endurance. The referee was just about to step in anyway.
Manny Pacquiao versus Jorge Elisier Julio. This was the third fight of the 23-year-old Pacquiao in the United States. Julio was a veteran of the ring himself, a former two-time world champion who had never been knocked out. Any questions? Touch gloves, good luck. In the first round, Pacquiao's speed and quickness stood out. It takes a lot of energy to start those punches. Oh, that's a huge left hand shot and the right hand shot. And you heard Julio's corner saying, hit him in the belly. And down goes Julio. In the second round, Pacquiao finally knocked out Julio. This performance by Pacquiao was a key moment in his career. A little grabbing and holding might be the thing to do. Pacquiao's just getting ready to swing away again. And Bill Clancy's seen it up. Devastating second round TKO for Manny Pacquiao. What a comeback from the misfortune of San Francisco. Manny Pacquiao versus Marco Antonio Barrera. The first significant fight in Pacquiao's career was a meeting with Mexican Marco Antonio Barrera. The Philippine boxer who had previously beaten the so-called no-names went out to fight for the world title in November of 2003. At the beginning of the first round, Pacquiao unsuccessfully kept his balance and fell, and the referee mistakenly called it a knockdown. There was no impact from Barrera, and the Filipino was angered by this. At the end of the 11th round, Pacquiao forced Barrera to kneel, indicating a knockdown. One of the most, been one of the most entertaining fighters in the world. Subsequently, Manny finished him off, forcing the referee to stop the fight. This fight was a surprise for many experts and the real beginning of the path of greatness for the Philippine boxer. Barrera's corner man is up on the apron. He's, he's going to step into the ring. That's a good decision. Finally. Now, don't blink. This is going to be fast. I think like a three punch combination here, Teddy. Blinding speed, body, head. He had quick hands. You could see that, but he was raw and he didn't have the technique. With the flaws that would show themselves later on, I don't think with all that power he would have been world champion. The technique that he learned to use that ability was very, very important in his career. From Young. Coming in round one of this heavyweight fight. There it was. Manny Pacquiao versus Miguel Cato. In a duel with Puerto Rican Miguel Cato, Pacquiao won the WBO world title for the weight class of up to 147 pounds. Cato, at the time of the battle, had already defeated Michael Jennings and Joshua Clotty. Note that this fight between Manny and Miguel was billed as a super fight. However, no one expected that the fight would end up being such a one-sided beating in the ring. Pacquiao did whatever he wanted with the Puerto Rican. In championship rounds, Manny generally staged a beating, and the referee stopped this action at the beginning of the 12th round. Sometime later, Pacquiao admitted to reporters that the fight with Cotto was one of the most difficult in his career. Manny Pacquiao versus David Diaz, June 2008. Manny Pacquiao entered the ring against WBC world lightweight champion David Diaz. Obey my commands, protect yourselves all times. Touch them up now, good luck to both of you. Pacquiao dominated the whole battle. At the end of the ninth round, he threw out a right jab and then held a short oncoming left hook to the jaw. The American collapsed onto the canvas. The referee immediately stopped the fight. Diaz was lying on the floor for about a minute. Welcome to the lightweight division. Manny Pacquiao was sensational tonight. He put on a clinic. In APN reaches out with the left hand. Mike on top of him, bangs him with the left hook right away. APN bends over, then hangs on and walks him back and falls towards Mike Tyson. Good instructions given by the ref in the early going. Mike gets it with the right hand, and APN is down. He was really mad with a foot right hand. Ace, nine, and ten. He knocks him out.
in the first round with a punch right hand. So I have to go around and ask everybody I hit, how did that punch feel? <laughs> well, you know because you delivered it. That was, it, it that was, was very clean. Oh, I hope I'm just glad he didn't hurt yeah. his leg. But I'm just, I was just very happy with the, with the sharp punch. I'm glad you pointed it out because down he goes, the left hook. 23 pound weight oh, advantage. And he put the it all right, there. The right to the head. No, we didn't see it yet. I'm Wait, sorry, here it comes. There's the left hook. There's the hook to the body. He, and he missed, missed the, right. the right. Yeah. It was just the left hook. He didn't wait for an invitation. Here it comes. Whoa. I'll tell you, Michael Jack Johnson earned his money the hard way tonight. In his brief pro career, hits like a steam hammer. The eyes of the giveaway. Oh, left, the, the legs have gone. This is all over. Left hook, good night. What a great shot. And this is how he did it. Measured him up. Missed with that, not with that. And really, Colate was out. come down boom <laughs> look at that watch them come down i knew he would come down get ready to say boom again michael my right, boom look and now look boom come on boom again i'm gonna hit him one more time i like to hit him this is that one i want to kill what can i say what can i say that's all she wrote this is that one many pacquiao versus eric morales the third fight often pacquiao's confrontations with rivals did not end in one match his rivalry with Eric Morales lasted for three suspenseful fights. In their first fight, Pacquiao got a dissection and lost to his more experienced opponent on points. And in the second match, he took revenge by knockout. Their third battle was the tiebreaker. In the second round, the Mexican missed an oncoming right hook to the jaw and dropped to one knee. It was the beginning of the end for Morales. Previous bouts have shown that a knockdown in a duel with Pacquiao is a harbinger of trouble. Manny wasted no time in trying to finish off his opponent. In the third round, when Pacquiao dropped Morales to the canvas in a hail of blows, the Mexican could not stand up before the count of 10. Manny Pacquiao versus Ricky Hatton. When it comes to the Pac-Man's most significant victories, you have to mention the unexpected conclusion of the bout with Britain, Ricky Hatton. For Pacquiao, the battle with the Englishman was a comeback after a short downtime. The Filipino was considered to be the popular one, but no one expected that in this debut welterweight match, Hatton would be knocked down in the first round. Fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Good luck, touch up. In the first three minutes of the battle, the Briton fell into two heavy knockdowns, but ended the round on his feet. The end of the battle came in the last minute of the second round, when an accurate hit from Pacquiao's left cannon flew into the Briton's jaw. Hatton went down in a deep knockout. As a result of this fight, he decided to retire shortly afterward. This knockout was recognized as the best in 2009. Thanks for watching. Please press the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel as well. See you soon.